Hi everyone, um, I'm here with uh, Mr Idris Musti from uh, Excelling Key Subjects and we were just going to talk about GCSE science options. Um, I know there's a lot of confusion, uh, particularly from parents and, and, and students around the different types of science GCSE qualifications. Um, are you able to elaborate on the different options and awards and, and exams? Indeed. Um, I must say there are so many different options. Um, uh, first of all, to say that uh, there are uh, such things as B-Tech, uh, Applied Science, and so many various options. But what uh, I'm going to concentrate on is the GCSE Science. Um, uh, as far as GCSE Science is concerned, there are three different options. Um, the one most parents understand is in their days they do physics, they do chemistry, they do biology and they get three different grades. A minority at the moment, uh, possibly up to 15% of young people still do it that way. They do physics, they do chemistry, they do biology, they get three grades. They could get a B for science, uh, sorry, a B for physics, an A for chemistry, and a C for biology for example. That option is still open. Uh, for the majority of students, they do uh, what is called the double award. Well, it used to be called the double award, it's actually now called additional science. What that entails is that um, um, there are up to six modules per subject, per science subject. Six modules of physics, six modules of chemistry, and six modules of biology. Uh, students who do all the six making of each, making 18 in total, they get the three different grades, as I explained earlier, which means they get A for biology, B for physics, and A star for chemistry, for example. Sure. The majority, the 90%, do four modules of each, mm -hmm. making 12 in total. Mm -hmm. So they get uh, what is called the double award. Okay. Again, in terms of the way that is uh, done, is that the first two modules, when they do the first two modules of physics, the first two modules of biology, and the first two modules of um, chemistry, mm -hmm. what they get is what we call core science, okay. which consists of physics, chemistry, biology, but two modules of each. They do that in the first year of G, uh, GCSE, which is year 10, at the age of 15. They get a grade, which is called core science. Okay. And when they move on to year 11, the following year, they do another two modules of each of the three science subjects, making four of each, 12 modules in total, and they get what is called additional science, which is a, uh, another qualification. It used to be called double award, but it's now called uh, additional science. So there's core, and then there's additional, and there's triple. Triple is the traditional. Precisely, indeed. Core, yeah. <coughs> core is a very basic that everybody has to do. Okay. Two which they do in the first year. Indeed, in the, in the first year of, a, uh, of GCSE. Okay. Yeah. In the second year of GCSE, they do another two modules of each. Okay. We now call it additional science. Which could get them three grades, potentially. Oh, right. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. The, the, the way it works is that uh, when they do the core science, which mm -hmm. is two modules of physics, two modules of biology, and two modules of chemistry, they get one GCSE grade. Okay. It's either a B or a C. Okay. Okay. That or an A star or U or whatever, they get just one grade. Mm -hmm. It is the average of all the three exams. So at the end of year 10, which used to be called fourth form, mm -hmm. student gets a grade. Okay. In GCSE science called core science. It has chemistry in it, it has biology. But they get it one. But then in the second year, they do the additional. Indeed. Which is two more modules of each, and they get another grade, which is. Call additional. So they get so the core and additional ultimately creates two GCSE In grades, A yeah. starts or whatever to G, B, C, D. Yeah. They could get an A for core science and they get B for additional science, for example. But the alternative is to do the three, the triple award, where you Indeed. do three subjects yes. as per tradition. Indeed, uh, and the way that works is yes, they have to do about six modules of each of the three subjects. Uh. So, they yes. do more study. Indeed, they do more. In some school, the schools there are, uh, there is a sort of timetable uh, allowance for that. But in some okay. schools, because the students who do triple science tend to be the brighter ones, sure. the more academic. So they are allocated the same time as everybody, but they move as, at a faster pace. At the end of year 10, those students who are doing triple mm -hmm. tend to be that they finish the core and they've actually started on the additional, which is the second level. Uh, and by the time they finish year eleven, they will have got um, they will have got all the three done. In which case, they get three separate, three the different grades. grades. 
And, and, and given this system, um, do you think that any of these qualifications or options are better than the others? Uh, well, I'm not sure if it's the word better. Well, the reality is, yes, students who, who study the triple science because they have done more topics, more mm -hmm. modules. Uh, they, they also, in most cases, have spent more time. Yes, they have uh, a better grasp. And if they were to attempt uh, A-level sciences in the future, they tend to do better. Um, yes, so th there's an advantage from that point of view. Mm -hmm. Also, the reality is that, which is a little bit unfair on them, uh, it is a little bit harder to actually get the top grades, especially A-star, uh, for those students who do triple science. It is actually easier to get an A-star in the um, additional science mm -hmm. than to get, uh, say, a B or an A in triple science, uh -huh. so it is more challenging. So there's different options to consider? For yes, there, there are different options. Of course, if one, if a student wants to do study medicine and they want to do A-level sciences, it's usually recommended that they actually do the, uh, the triple award. Having said that, it is built in such a way that you know, recognition of the fact that most students do the additional science, or double award they sometimes call it, that is sufficient to take up an A-level in any or all the three science subjects. But yes, to do the triple is much better. And, and, and by indication, doing triple is, is going to give you better preparation for doing the A-level Precisely, sciences. yes, it does. Uh, when, when you do the triple science, it, it gives you better, more preparation because you actually do more modules of sure. science, so you have a better grasp. And a deeper appreciation of the physics or biology or whatever the, subject. Uh, the content, indeed. Sure. Yes. Better Excellent. Understanding. No, that 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 makes that makes very good sense. That makes very good sense. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you for your time. Thank you.